going through this, um, your body's changing immensely. You're having huge biochemical changes because your hormones are all yeah. of a sudden being released. So you can go through puberty. And I, I know, I mean, all girls, I think have those weird, awkward phases, boys, you know, it's, it, it, yeah. so there's definitely a natural component to it that then obviously our lifestyles and our social uh, structures can um play into the further. Further. yeah i mean you know i'm 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 gonna have my my story coming out very soon i'm writing a piece about my struggles with gender and sexuality mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. tomboy and and all of those things and i can only imagine if when i was having that struggle of getting my period and not wanting to tell people and crying and hiding it if there was this thing out there that oh you don't have to have your period you can get it stopped and if adults were encouraging these conversations instead of being like okay you know go i was upset one day in class and i like had an outburst and the teacher basically just sent me to go to cool off on my own in the office talk to a counselor and call my parents like literally the first thing that they had me do so they like <laughs> call my parents because right, right, that's right. what you do when a kid is having an issue at school outside you call their parents and it's like i can only imagine today if they were like oh like you know we don't have to tell your parents or actually in, in our schools they're not allowed to actively promise that we did get that policy passed by our boe right but, right. but we don't have a policy compelling to tell you so you could right. tell them and say and 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 they don't have to promise to tell your parents but they also don't have to go out and call them <laughs> like they would have like literally 10 years ago five years ago if anything's wrong with your kid the first thing that they do is call your parents now they're like oh we're going to keep this a secret from the parents and like right which is just a very bizarre practice in itself like like parents have a hard enough time like i have a teenager and she like likes to sneak chocolate when she's not supposed to and it's like now i have to worry about like the school helping her to hide more things from me like i don't i don't need that in my life i don't i don't need that type of pressure no thank you government no thank you doctors um, and no thank you to any of the school people pushing any sort of any of this on children. Shame on you. Many times these people don't even have children. A lot of these people in the school systems, they don't even have children and they take it upon themselves to push their ideologies on other people's children. Stay right. in your lane, stay in your lane because you definitely don't want to be right. messing right. with a mother like me in your world on that <laughs> topic. Know? exactly for mm. real and that's nothing against people who don't have kids you know no not at all but but, but. you you are not if when you don't have children you are not in the position to tell other people I, even when you have children you're not in the position to ever tell another person how to raise their child um and it is not abuse it is not child abuse if i have a daughter and a teacher or a doctor or somebody is telling her that she could turn into a boy if she wanted to and me wanting her to wait a little longer in life to make sure that's really something she wants to do. That's not that's like child basic, abuse. That's like the basic description of what a parent is supposed to do. Right. Child says, can I do this thing? Parent says, uh, we'll talk about it later. We'll Chelsea, talk can about we it. We'll talk thing? about it. Maybe, you know, it's like the parent is always supposed to like slow down and help the yeah. child think through things and be like, actually, I know that's how you want the world to be. It right. seems very nice, but this is how the world is. And I also think I also think like that. it's really like it, it's it's like delusional instant gratification because it's like, oh, like you don't like this about yourself. Let's just go Here. change it no. immediately. And it's yeah. like where when and where are we teaching people to like, you know, immerse yourself in who you are and really build that person up that you are. And instead it's like, no, nah, we'll just chop some parts off and just like slap some stuff on. And now you're a new person, a new, new whole thing. But, but if you never work on that inside, no matter what kind of outsides you get, it's never going to be better. It might feel better for a little bit because it's new, it's novel, all of that. However, when you get back down and you're sitting alone by yourself, all exactly. that stuff still comes out. Hide. You can't hide. Definitely can't hide from God. Thanks for checking out this clip of Teaching Liberty Live. Help us beat the algorithm by sharing it on your social media platforms and with your friends. Also, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, 
tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Plus, I go live every Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, breaking down the big headlines and trending topics of the week. And let's make sure we stay directly connected, so head over to teachingliberty.org and sign up for my mailing list. Now, go watch more of my videos and share them with your friends. Did I mention that? Come on.